Each particular church is Catholic, 832. The Church of Christ is really present in all legitimately organized local groups of the faithful, which, insofar as they are united to their pastors, are also quite appropriately called churches in the New Testament. In them, the faithful are gathered together through the preaching of the gospel of Christ, and the mystery of the Lord's Supper is celebrated. In these communities, though they may often be small and poor, or existing in the diaspora, Christ is present through whose power and influence the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church is constituted. The phrase particular church, which is first of all the diocese or eparchy, refers to a community of the Christian faithful in communion of faith and sacraments with their bishop ordained in apostolic succession. These particular churches are constituted after the model of the universal church. It is in these and formed out of them that the one and unique Catholic church exists. 834. Particular churches are fully Catholic through their communion with one of them, the Church of Rome, which presides in charity. For with this church, by reason of its preeminence, the whole church, that is, the faithful everywhere, must necessarily be in accord. Indeed, from the incarnate words descend to us, all Christian churches everywhere have held and hold the great church that is here at Rome to be their only basis and foundation since, according to the Savior's promise, the gates of hell have never prevailed against her. 835. Let us be very careful not to conceive of the universal church as the simple sum or the more or less anomalous federation of essentially different particular churches. In the mind of the Lord, the church is universal by vocation and mission, but when she puts down her roots in a variety of cultural, social, and human terrains, she takes on different external expressions and appearances in each part of the world. The rich variety of ecclesiastical disciplines, liturgical rites, and theological and spiritual heritages proper to the local churches, unified in a common effort, shows all the more resplendently the Catholicity of the undivided church.